Welcome to GTC 2014. Hi, I'm Adam here at NVIDIA's GPU Technology Conference in San Jose, California. Now in its fifth year, GTC is bigger and better than ever. There are over 3,500 people here from 50 countries to hear keynotes, attend more than 500 sessions, and meet with the brightest minds in computing. This is the number one show for the GPU ecosystem. Companies like Google, Facebook, Pixar, Boeing, Honda, and Audi are all here along with scientists and researchers from universities and leading laboratories to explain how they're solving important computing challenges. There's been a ton of great news here at GTC. I want to walk you through four particularly interesting items. We announced that Pascal will be our next GPU after Maxwell. Pascal will introduce several new features, including NVLink. NVLink is a new interconnect for high-performance computing that will enable GPUs and CPUs to share data 5 to 12 times faster than they can today. It will eliminate a long-standing bottleneck and pave the way to exascale supercomputers. We introduced a professional new rendering system called iRay Visual Computing Appliance. iRay VCA dramatically accelerates ray tracing to enable designers to create and interact with photorealistic models in real time. It will allow designers to replace physical prototypes with 3D rendering of incredible detail. We unveiled an awesome new graphics card called the GeForce GTX Titan Z. Built around two Kepler GPUs and 12 gigabytes of dedicated frame buffer memory, Titan Z is engineered for next-generation 5K and multi-monitor gaming. And we announced a new development module called Jetson TK1, the world's first mobile supercomputer for embedded systems. Jetson will enable developers to create smarter robots, drones that avoid moving objects, and self-driving cars. This concept was dramatically illustrated when an Audi A7 drove across the stage and parked itself during our CEO's keynote. This is just some of what's been going on here at GTC. It shows how NVIDIA is the leader in visual computing and why visual computing is more important than ever. 